Hello YouTube, Jumpy23 here. I faked you out at the end of the last video when I made it sound like I wasn't going to upload until the finale. Here's a New Game Plus clear to tie you over. Earlier, I said that the Stolen Axe had never been beaten in one turn, even in New Game Plus. That was, and still is true, but Nat No 32, Jaro, and I put our heads together, and in the end, I made this. A segmented video of what a one turn clear could be. I need four spark energy procs, and more like besides. This shows me getting all the luck, but not in one continuous run. The resource counts might be a bit screwed up when I cut it between different footage, but it all works out if you do the math yourself. I won't be grinding the RNG, but Nat New and, and Jaro might, or any of you guys could. We start with Luigi doing a similar bounce as in the two turn, and then using Screech, not Glitter. This move sets up both enemies in favorable positions. Incidentally, I learned that Screech sends enemies the exact same distance no matter what level the spark is at. The only difference is which enemies are affected. Luigi can technically proc spark energy with his other spark usage later instead, but that's right at the end of the map, so it's better just to rig this one. Next, I do something I never showed in my run, gust boosting. By knocking enemies into players with gusts, the players are pushed forward. As does this to both Mario and Luigi with this stooge. She needs to get three dashes on it herself, though, for her own movement range, so she does it first without Zephyr Dash. Then she needs spark energy proc. Now Edge goes bowling. This is somewhat skill-based and somewhat random, but this is about the best setup that I could find. I need to blow both Mario Bros in range of the bounce pad without accidentally knocking the stooge out of bounds. You'll need at least 23 skill prisms for Mario in this clear, and you need Zephyr Dash and Aqua Quake, so this is New Game Plus only, but you can't do this at level 30 with maxed everything because the stooge will die too fast. So I ran through half the game to set up this save file with level 1 Zephyr Dash and level 22 characters. Mario uses Toxic Quake here for the eye. It has to be Toxic Quake, and his other Quake skill has to be Zephyr or, uh, Aqua Quake, because Zephyr Quake would grant him Gust Immunity, which is obviously a no-go. And yes, he needs Spark Energy there. The Stomp is better than using a Move Boost or Team Jump to cross this gap like I did in my original clear. Although in the end, I could have used the Move Boost here and a Stomp where I used the Move Boost, but this is a better template for further improvements, probably. After that hellish start, it's time for a relatively relaxed segment. As in Luigi, you need to hit the same precise bounce pad movement as in my two turn, but that feels trivial to me now. Now, rather than a spark skill like she used last time, Edge breaks this eye with a pow. We're not done with her yet though, which is why she needed that spark energy early. With this bounce pad cleared up, Mario can cross up here with a move boost to take out the third eye with Aqua Quake. Like I said, I could have used the stomp here and the move boost elsewhere so inclined. Mario needs yet another Spark Energy proc on Aqua Quake. That's the fourth though, that's the last of them. But we're not done with the RNG yet. Now I have some downtime here while everyone does simple movement. I couldn't think of much to say here. If you have any ideas for improving the clear, feel free to post them in the comments because as it is, the RNG is horrendous, like sub one in 1000. I'll also take this time to thank Nat New and Jaro again for helping me out with this one. Couldn't have done it without your guys' help for sure. Alright, everyone's caught up. Now it's time for the segment which NatNew32 labeled Pain on his diagram of this level. 
There's only one way through this with the resources that we have available. A double burn boost off this ghostly walker. Edge lights the walker on fire with Pyro Geddon, who spreads it to both Mario and Luigi. I need Luigi to end up in range of either bounce pad, and Mario to end up in range of Luigi. This took me just 4 or 5 tries, but I may have gotten insanely lucky. That was the last RNG needed in the clear though. The rest is just execution and not choking, which are synonyms. With a team jump and his final stomp, ignore the tracker, Mario is able to jump shot by number four and land on the bounce pad nearby. Luigi has somehow still not used any of his movement resources, which are two team jumps and a move boost, but that's about to change. With his first team jump, he crosses this gap with the help of Mario. <laughs> now he breaks the fifth eye, that's the last that we're going to break, with Electro Geddon. We've broken every Dark Mess Eye without using any ZL attacks and blocking our movement, which is really kind of crazy. Mario's already burned through all of his resources, but he uses the last of his bounce pad movement to help his bro out again. And Luigi reaches the final bounce pads. It's really all downhill from here. With a move boost, Luigi completes the stolen axe in one turn. Kinda. Thanks for watching.